Hello there and welcome to what's going to be a very interesting and entertaining 2 vs 2 battle. Full disclosure, I bought some beers and a curry with the money that this player paid me to cast his game. I'm not going to reveal which player it was out of the four guys because I want you to watch the game with the suspense of um, not knowing who's going to win. And it's a, a mega 2 versus 2 battle between four mid-rank opponents. So you're not going to see Asia Mint versus Love Nest, Epic Micro. You're just going to see four everyday men, much like yourself or even myself, average players playing in an epic battle. Um, I don't usually accept money to cast. It's not my thing. But this guy, he was really keen. And I said yes. And now here we are, a few beers later. And I've downloaded an older version of the game because this replay was actually from April. So he's very commit committed to wanting to. See I think it was his mate's birthday as well, to be honest. Um, so let's let's watch said game, shall we? And we're also going to cast it. So it's a legitimate contest between um, gods of Company of Heroes. As we see on the north side, playing as the dastardly Brits, it's General Fifty Six. His teammates, none other than Midget Man. Sorry, Midge Man, also as the Brits in the south, giving you some rearguard action. It is indeed the Admiral himself as Assault Support Doctrine, toting Wehrmacht. His teammate, it's not Sodolio, it is indeed just Solio. He is also going as Wehrmacht, so double Brits, double Wehrmacht. It's a glorified one versus one with four people at the helm. And this should be a very interesting battle. It is, of course, cr whoa, that was way too fast. It's crossing in the woods, uh, which is one of the better two versus two maps. It can get a little bit stalemate in the centre, but it's all about exposing the flanks and uh, pushing your agenda. Trying to win your one versus ones in your area of the map. And then, of course, pushing through the centre with an armoured fist. I hope that made sense. I'm sure it did. Um, we are very, very briefly... I'll just nip this down to snail speed. We're going to show you the players that you're going to be seeing. So, off, starting from the left, it is General 56. Existence is pain. It is pain when you only play Brits and you're ranked 724. He's from Newfoundland. He's also a Labrador. He's also from Canada. Very interesting. Midgeman. His name's Alex. He's from Sittingbourne in Kent. He's a Brit. That's, and he's playing Brits. That's, that's awesome. We also have, have Admiral. By the way, that's a car insurance logo. This guy is German. And some of the characters from the place he's from don't work on my computer. His teammate, Solio. His, or possibly her name, is Alex. Uh, so, there you go. We've got two Alexes. One's possibly female, one's possibly male. Four excellent players, all in all. Let's get it on. General takes the Vickers into the general location of the Vickers for the next extended period of play. That's what I'm going to expect at mid-level 2v2. You get in the garrison, you sit in the garrison. This room's for tea and biscuits. This room's for softcore pornography. And this room's for shooting Germans. Meanwhile, we've got 2-2-2 two, two, two action. I can hear him. There he is. He's going to ward off Admiral support weapon play. And it is indeed support weapon play. We have the Granat Werfer, 34. Nice positioning of the MG42 by Solio. He's trying to stay out of the scope of the Vickers to set up and throw some Hitler's buzzsaw action. Against the, uh, that dastardly Vickers. I bloody hate it. Do you know why? Because it doesn't suppress as fast as the MG42. So you think you're okay. And then the DPS is really bad. And then you die. And that's why it always catches me off guard. I don't know about you guys. Tommy's from uh, General versus Grandius. He has to be careful of that negative cover. Because he's in it right now. However, <laughs> the Tommies are currently shooting the flag for the most part. I'll tell you what, let's have some more beer. I might say stupid things during this cast. And that's because I've had a few drinks, but you've got to blame the player that, um, you know, sponsored the activities. So uh, it's on him. And to be honest, I really hope this is entertaining. I'd love to do some more casual casting here and there. Of course, we're organising the Master League. Oh, a nice mortar shot there by Admiral. Or Admiral's mortar, rather. He gets three kills in one shot. Nice. Um, yeah, we're going to do, obviously, this Omega 1v1 tournament. I can reveal, if you've 
if you have the trust and faith in our community to watch a two versus two mid-level battle, you now get a little bit of exciting news. Late June, the last two weekends of June, we should be seeing a very first of its kind for Code 2. 32-man double elimination tournament. They're sirens and like uh, pog champs and reactionary confetti. Um, so that'll be happening in late June. So look forward to that, guys. Uh, we all have commanders. You have a commander. We have a commander. All the abilities are ready because General has Royal Engineer Regiment. Rrr. Midgeman has Special Wep <laughs> Weapons Regiment. So he's he's arrived on a special bus and he goes to a different school. And Admiral has gone for Assault Support Doctrine, which is a 2v2 classic. Look at that bad boy. Opal Blitzen. Out of his face, nice stun grenade, allowing his teammate to flank. Nice uh, cohesion of teamwork there. Synergy, as we will call it. And we also have elite troops. Never seen that commander before. Don't know what it does. I'm sure it's really underpowered and rubbish. We've got a wasp on its way. We've also got another wasp on its way. We've had a double wasp upgrade. Right now, Admiral and Solio are sitting there... Like fat kids at a picnic, eating ice cream, and there are some very uninvited guests to the party. There is a swarm of wasps on the horizon, and they're causing all kinds of problems. Need to get some uh, SWAT, SWATs out for that, maybe a pack 40 or two. Got a modified mine on its way from the Royal Engineers. Oh no, well, of course we are, it's... It is indeed two versus two and they're doing the famous allied trick of wiring off one side of the bridge. The southern bridge head in this case to give the allies a bit of a VP advantage. We've got light mechanised coming down for Admiral Solio. Also, I told you we'd be seeing pack 40s. The bloody wasps are going to be a nightmare if they're not fully dealt with. Very good stuff indeed. Universal carrier. One has no kills and the other has four. General's really showing how it's done. And there's the mine. I must admit, I watched the first 18 minutes of this game already and then I had a sync error. This game is actually from last month. And the bloody guy that uploaded it, do you know that he actually downloaded the game as it stood in April for me, put it on OneDrive. That's a 22 gigabyte um, zip file. <laughs> just to see his game cast. He was really committed. There must be something very special about this game. And it actually excites me. Tommies need to stop building very quickly indeed because they're going to suffer. They do stop, but they didn't complete the sandbags. Almost makes me kind of wish they'd completed it now. 2 2 two's out. That's not a bad idea. We're seeing double 2 2 2. It's a fear hundred. Fear um, fear sick. I have no idea how German new numbers work, but I hope that's close enough. As we see another one coming around the bend. Wasp has to be careful. Tell you what, that's going to go down. Oh, we do not see a double jump, but we do see one of my favourite dying animations in the game. Possibly a Faust to come. No, the UC gets away. The surviving UC, the one that's only got the one kill. And Admiral was thinking about it. I tell you, he was thinking about it. Nice game of watching. I'm enjoying myself. I don't know about you guys. I think the alcohol certainly helps. If you're not enjoying this, you should have drank more. If you don't drink, um, use whatever substitute you take in life. Royal Engineers looking low. They do get the heat grenade off, but what was it for? They cost money, you know. 210 manpower, I know, but it's not worth just a damaged engine. I'm sure he knows that now. It's one of those decisions you make, and then immediately after you're thinking... Why did I do that? What is life? Who am I? Nice rifle aid. A lot of health damage and a fatality. And then the uh, MG42 follows up. Five kills on that bad boy. We also see Panzer Grenadiers making a arrival for Solio. As the pioneers with their minesweepers. Tell you what, they haven't detected that mine. And they are just going to repair, though, at advanced speed. AC. Looking for 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Flesh on the battlefield. Oh, he's going to burst through these tree, this tree line. Is he? <laughs> nice cheeky rear armor shot there. 
Let's go back to the AEC and the Vickers. That's uh, been chilling in the house for some time now. Double bolstered Tommy now. And 25% uh, extra Tommy action for you. Just in case... You, I don't know nobody's ever seen this ability before. I'm pretty sure it's brand new. As the mine goes off, destroys the razor wire. Granity is just about surviving. Um, I think they only lost one Soldaten, though, all in all. G43 upgrade for Solio. Forced away, however, by those dastardly Brits. As the Sten gun guns dawn upon this other squad. He's in green colour. Doesn't count for much anymore. Rifle laid off. Doesn't do enough. And Solio is being pushed away. Meanwhile, in the centre, we've got the AT Tommies with that uh, projector, infantry, anti tank, spring loaded bazooka alternatives. It's what no kid wants for Christmas. When your mom says, We've got bazookas at home, and you open the cupboard, and it is indeed a Piat. Let's see what damage it can do. Not bad, however, one detonates over this tree line. Oh, the 2 to 2's not been very quick to react. Let's see the follow-up. Oh, takes it out of commission. Just when you um, bitch about Piets and say how terrible they are, of course they uh, kill the first thing they see. That's just AE's look. Let's check out what else we're seeing from the other build orders. Just watch out for this 2 to 2 has got to be careful. The AC got a big shot in. Grenade tossed. Nice dodge by Admiral. Good work. Vasis. Long range pitched engagement there. As the Universal Carry needs to be careful. Fortunately for it, there is no veterancy on that MG42, so it should be safe. And we're seeing upgrades. We've seen Battle Phase 2. We're seeing Solio is, um, he's got, well, he, or possibly she, was that the one that was had a female looking avatar? I would never really want to assume anybody's a woman in this game because 99.9% .9 of you are bloody men. So it's, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just call, keep calling everybody he until proven otherwise. Has, of course, gone for a tiger race. So uh, they've got the pack out. Admiral's got a pack out. They've got enough AT to get them to where they need to go to, but they do need to be careful for victory points, and that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing a nice push forward with a bit of smoke to help out. That is Solio's smoke helping them out as they uh, cap the central victory point. Meanwhile, the Brits are back in full force. Let's check out the teching options there. We've seen research weapon racks for Midgeman, and uh, we've seen grenades for General 56. So, interesting there. Must be noted, by the way, Midgeman could have gone for the resupply half-track, but uh, elected just to get the base upgrade. Possibly a little bit of loss of manpower there, from what I remember. Night Double rifle nades! One dodged on purpose, the other by pure luck alone. However, it did, of course, necessitate a full-scale retreat. Tommies have decrewed this MG42. Solio has been pushed off en masse right now. It the pack 40s trying to reposition. The mortars possibly operating as bait. No, indeed, it tries to retreat. Admiral's trying to help the situation, but both support weapons have gone down. 2-2-2 two, two, two with a kaput engine. As the Tommies are massacring this grenadier and take it out. Oh my god, General's on the rampage. He got two support weapons he could take now as the AC goes in for Admiral's heroic 222 that was providing that rear guard action. Like the French at Dunkirk. It's nice, nice to give a favourable reference to the French in a World War II setting, I feel. Trying to put the pressure down on the pack. There is smoke as well. Will the base bunker? Yes, it will shoot through. Meaning a miss, bit of a miscalculation from General. Because now we won't be able to take these support weapons. That could have been so much better. He could have got an MG42. He could have got a mortar. That could have been GG well played right there. Had it not been for this heroic machine gunner. This lonely fellow sitting in a hole in the ground. In 
I believe this is Western France. Staring at trees all day, every day. Wilhelm's life is utter misery, except for the one moment where he shot everybody. Including that guy, possibly. He might be a bit of a bastard, I don't know. Maybe I've just maybe given him uh, shining commendations and perhaps he could be an utter bastard. We just do not know at this stage. AC's ready to move and is now fully operational. And complete. <sighs> to quote uh, Mr. Palpatine, we have heavy Panzer Corps coming down for Admiral. That escalated <laughs> quickly. <laughs> Did you get my pun? Tommy's uh, forcing away the LMG Grenadiers. Mortar attacking this tree. Veteran C2 on the Universal Carry. I'm sure probably giving it mobility. Actually. Increased burst length and accuracy. That's pretty nifty. Not for a flamethrower, though, because uh, pretty sure that applies to the machine gun. There's the resupply half-track, and he's pooping out some weapons. His first poo of the day is a Vickers, should you want it. Go on, take the light machine gun. It's lovely. <laughs> Sam, uh, the razor wire's been fully destroyed now. And we've got MG in the garrison. What are these guys using these rooms for? We've got um, sauerkraut in that room. It looks like these guys are playing... Um, is that Uno? And indeed, we do have shooting Brits in the other room. So, very good use of their quarters there by the machine gun crew. And now you know you're watching mid rank 2 versus 2. As we've got the Werfer of Panzers. The Panzer Werfer on the field. Big Tommy Blob comes in from the west side. Oh, he could not crew fast enough. This could be the saving grace though. The Tommies have retreated. Oh, nice shots on retreat there. An AC destroyed from the pack. Helped by the Panzerwerfer as it annihilates a full Tommy squad and many other soldiers to come. And a big bundle nade goes in. Can we see the G43 follow up? No, it cannot, but that was a good power spike. Let's see that on the graphs. You're going to see all of that come in right now as you see the Brits dive. Oh, my dog's, my dog's coming in and it's confused. Shall we have a... He has a cute dog break. I think that is a, a wise decision. Lady! You're a cute girl, eh? You're a cute girl, aren't you? Who do you think's going to win? Oh, she's a Veraboo. How cute. Go lie down, baby. I've got another two hours of this game. I did take her for a walk before the game. Before you call me a cruel master, I certainly am not. What else do we have happening, General? With a new five-man Tommy squad. I think they should have to pay for the fifth man, but that's just me. Getting Brens immediately. Vickers on this guy. It looks like such a bigger gun, doesn't it? Looks bloody huge. We do, have, of course, have a lull in activity as we uh, tech... Well, we've got a Panzer IV on its way. That should break through enemy lines. Nice there. Another rifle nade. This time by this Grenadier. Could have actually followed up with the kill, but is very fearful for their life. Oh, the 222 crew. Thanks to those approaching Piats. Universal carrier with a Jekyll Molten Hatred. A GMH. We do have a squad that has gone. I'm fully sure where that is, I must admit. As the Tommies push in. We do have a better MG42 positioning this time for Solio. Fool me once. Shame on Solio. Fool Solio twice. Here comes a Panzer Olio. Matt, that was terrible, commentary. Awful, but I tell you what, Admiral shooting on the, re the um, retreat paths like a pro... As the UC gets a little bit of received damage there and actually gets Veteran C3. That gets it increased acceleration, but it won't need it if the 2 to 2 can finish it off. M3 was in peril, but um, the Tommies are more than a match for this 2 2 2. Don't want to get within. Uh... That isn't the AT Tommies, by the way, but the Royal Engineers certainly did have heat grenades. What they reload quickly, don't they? Enemy 
Panzer IV on the west side. Trying to get rid of this uh, Vickers for the first time. This Vickers has been sitting on their asses for the entire 17, well, nearly 18-minute battle all the way up until Solio's eviction crew emerged. And the notice has well and truly been served. They are squatting on the property without legal rights to contain. And the bailiffs are going to sort the problem out. There you go. And General there with a micro error. Should have queued up that retreat and got it ASAP. I know Tightrope once told me how to do that on one of his tips and tricks videos. Can't quite, remain. Can't quite remember the exact mechanics. I do have to remember a lot about this game. Tommy's suffering under heavy duress there of tank in the face. They do have their own tank coming up. It's And here it is, that Panzerwerfer yet again on retreat. That's a fantastic obliteration there. This Panzerwerfer is an absolute badass. That was the new one, getting eight kills on its first volley, joining his predecessor on nine kills. We can see where Admiral's going, and the future is Verfi. Matt, you're making myself cringe. And you are myself, so please stop. That's my left brain talking to my right brain there, everybody. Interestingly, did you know that human consciousness is very tenuously linked by both hemispheres of the brain? It almost proves that there is no soul and we are indeed just a chemical vessel for a, a conscience to exist as a, you know, an abstract kind of... And here we go, Cromwell's on the field. But the, the best way to prove it is your hemispheres like talk to each other as though they're strangers. And it's been proven on a scientific basis. I can't go into it right now, but you just have to trust me. As the Bofors trusts itself to absolutely instagib that Grenadier squad. They did not stand a chance. Look at them writhing in that neat little Blair witch s project. Pile of bodies. Blair Witch project S. Bofa's crew has four kills. And uh, the Cromwell's got in his first. Midgeman, of course. He's gone for Anvil. Here come those Verfi boys. Has he gone on the retreat path? No, he has not. He's instead. I'll tell you what, some of the shells still landed. Or the rockets, rather. 13 kills. Not too shabby. Tell you what. What about this one? Where's he aimed? Let's, you always have to look where they're aimed. The structure is braced. But it came out of brace at the exact wrong moment. However, Solio's in danger. As Ralph Wiggum chuckles. Piet's in. Miss, however. Panzer pops. Panzer tactician smoke. As those bad boy Piet's. Push through the smoke and into the fire. And the Vickers as the AI. And here we go. We've got the Cromwell coming in for the Panzerwerfers. However, they suffer a damaged engine. He's still going for it. He can't see it though now. And the Faust and the 222 carry on. General's like a Terminator though. He just will not stop until his main gun destroyed in his rear also. Meanwhile, we've had a squad knocked out. As the pack 40s decrewed and the Tommy, one of the Tommy squads bite the dust. Also, the mortar's going down. It's all going down right now. This battle is boiling over into a raging inferno. Nice shots from the Panzer IV. 20 kills already. Needs a follow-up, though. Tell you what, this is open season back here. There's no mines. There's no nothing. However, the damaged engine on the Panzer IV will keep the Brits in the game, quite frankly. Strafing run. Had a bit of uh, action there. Didn't quite see what happened, but uh, sure it was spicy. Let's check out the army value graph. As we can see, that general's taken a bit of a dive. And last time I checked, he was not a U-boat. Points held. Looks like Admiral did a lion's share of the capping and has been able to maintain said share of the spoils of war. We're 22 minutes into this sterling battle. I'm enjoying myself. I'm sure that's uh, helped by alcohol. If you're not enjoying yourselves, you need more alcohol or whatever your uh, alcoholic substitute is of choice. Pioneers can't repair in time. And the Tommies are going to go for a flank here. The MP40 is going to have to come into action. Or indeed the Panzerwerfer. We know where this one's aimed. Hammer skills are being readied. Hammer skills are being readied. 
for general. As the Piets get the kill. Tell you what, they are a lot better than I remember them being. Panzerwehr from a retreat path, possibly. No, it was on these Tommies, and that's a poorly... Uh, it's not poorly aimed, is it? It's well dodged by general. Let's put a positive slant on that one. As the Vickers, handheld Vickers come into things. But that is not a, a pleasant awakening, let's say. Three Panzerwerfers! This guy's going Werf crazy! He gets a kill there. A tire squad wipe on the uh, Royal Engineers. It's an armada of Panzerwerfers. And this Admiral... He's going to steer the seas of infantry and turn them into fatalities. By the way, the Vickers was never recruited. Could do with that, General could. Good VP pressure, it must be said from... We're just going to have to deal with the fact that this is a very panzer battle. Both is nearly down. Do we have another Panzerwerf on it? Yeah, look at that. We're already ready for another one. This could finish the job now. I'm sure we'll be hearing that very shortly. It's this one here. With the 18 kills. We also have Stukas ready for strafing once again. It's very rare that you see so many Stukas strafes. They usually save them for fragmentation bombs. And this should be the death. It is indeed the death but a lot of medium cover created that would be a snipe heaven another pack 40 out for admiral very support orientated build solio now has what solio has been waiting for and let's uh let's christen this tank han for uh han solio that's a very dead you see oh <laughs> what that's not a tiger ace is it? We'll see if it is now. Yes, it well and truly is a Tiger Ace. Just had a little bit of a premature UC killulation. And finally uh, recalibrated its sights after that brief test period. And is now ready for full release. As the Panzer Commander watches on. And the Werfers. Worth that point in particular because fuck it, why not? Why not try and catch your opponent off guard? There's the Tiger Ace for you. Already got one vehicle kill and three infantry kills. It's only had four shots. However, six pounders, very well positioned. And no, none of you Americans get excited. This is not a burger commercial. This is indeed a World War II era anti tank gun. Let's have some more Lefe. Where have I put it? And note to Drunken Matt Self. Do not spill Lefe on Corsair keyboard, gaming PC, or mix amp. If you're going to spill it somewhere, spill it into your esophagus. Is that food pipe? And then wind pipe is something else. I think esophagus is the food pipe. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Funny it's absolutely fine. Oh! oh. Talking of funny, we now have the AVRE on the field. That spigot, petard launcher, mortar, ready to wreak some havoc very shortly on possibly this unsuspecting stormtrooper squad. This will be a very, very storm-like breach. He's going to track him on re retreat, possibly, is he? Watch out for that icon on the bottom left of his title card. Panzerwerfer looking to try and save the day. Spoil for choice here, as the Tiger Ace looks to do Mortal Kombat with that Hobart funny. Oh, fragmentation nearly takes out the blob, but only just indeed. There you go. Three kills, squad wipe, proof of concept. I would say for this uh, prototype, more Verfi action. He's a veritable Roger Federer. Of uh, lobbing shots over the net. Well, in this case, it's a it's a river, and by shots I mean rocket artillery. But still, he can come at you from all angles. He's got the forehand, the backhand, and the almighty 
net smash on this Tommy squad on retreat. Couldn't quite serve out the game, but uh, I'm sure he'll come again. Admiral needs to be careful. Very careful indeed. As he uh, attacks the victory point. That should neutralise it in my opinion. That would be a fun game mechanic. Faust goes in. As to the Verfs. On the river. Not the worst frame rate ever. I'm quite happy with that. We'll take it. Smoke flies up. As, uh, I tell you what, this will be nice. That was the, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's the Oswind. Only 45 of these bastards built during World War II, but we're very, very privileged to be seeing one right now. Solio brings on Princess Flakpanzer to complete our to complete our Star Wars analogy. Or should it be Chewbacca? There we go, six pounder down. Yeah, if this is um, Han Solio, we'll make this um, Flak Panzer the Wookiee. I'll do. Fuck it. I'm really funny. I know there's some uh, mortar support for you. Verfs going on. On the officer. There's all kinds of problems with Midgeman. Meanwhile, on the east side, I have to say, Admiral has been very good at keeping this position. He's also got a bunker to, to help him with that. He's got a, He can reclaim the mortar should he want it. Can't quite see any towers. That would be the perfect thing for me. But uh, we all know that uh, we're going to be aiming for those. Oh, oh, nice. Verfa down. Tommy's get one of them. That was the veteran C. I think it was up to two, was it? It's dead. And he's rebuilding it immediately, immediately as Admiral. As the Tiger Ace and the Osfind come in to wreak vengeance and avenge their fallen comrades. Osfind with all kinds of damage. AVRE is reloaded. Can it predict the path, however? Yes, it can, and it stuns the Osfind. But the six-pounder has not been recruited and will not be able to follow up. That's a little bit of concentrated fire operation for you. Has to be careful. I mean, this MG42 never gets recruited at this rate. He's backing into it. Needs to be very careful. I think there's five of these, is there? Nice on retreat there again from Admiral. However, it did a lot of health damage and a lot of, a lot of individual soldier fatalities, but it was a very out of range Panzerwerf, and he's going to be a little bit uh, on his guard now, thanks to those excellent Tommy exploitations early on, and, uh, and getting the kill very importantly. This assault officer's not been able to do much thus far, and I think the Werfers have something to say about that. Or so it's safe for themselves, because they've been fantastic. More flame, more to support. On the centre, he wants to reclaim it. Grenade on the officer. And do they follow up with the LMGs? They can't, thanks to the mortar. They're forced away with their pants on fire, it would seem. However, this is big news. Tiger Ace has been stunned, thanks to the AVRE. Still no follow-up, though, for General. Come on, Sunshine. Looks like players are just loving using the British medic squads to upgrade their Tommies to something other than medic Tommies. Panzer IV on, on its way. Princess Panzer. Flak Panzer the Wookiee. And Han Solio. We've got somewhat of a Millennium Falcon emerging. 15 brave British bastards push west through an S minefield, no less. They march on due to uh, a breakfast of. Bacon, eggs, black pudding, beans, 
Sausage. Fried bread. Mushrooms. Tomatoes. Black pudding, white pudding. Etc. And they're pinned. And here comes the Verve on retreat. That's a really good one. No squad wipe yet again, though. However, we should now be seeing more veterancy. Yes, indeed. We've got a veterancy too. Panzerwerfer yet again. Starting to get that reload time down. We're also seeing a strafing run from Admiral. Not too sure about that. Tiger Ace has gotten his second pip of veterancy. Your of his course already starts with one. Ah, good shot in. Royal Engineers acting as a deterrent, but there's no damage on this thing yet. Really could do with uh, Firefly, it must be said. Oh, what a verf that is! However, again, it was at very far range, so not too much damage done. This Tiger Ace is on the assault. The six pound has finally been recruited. We do have a stun in. We've got a heat grenade also. That's a damaged engine. AVRE's reload. Requires functional main gun. Oh, he's he's repairing. Of course he is. Six pounder. Could cause some serious damage. There it is. That big damage. Tommy's also helping out. Panzerwerf is coming in. They're static. And very wisely by Admiral. It is indeed on the... Everything! There's the kills he wanted. He gets rid of the six pounder. That's destroying... The well, he got rid of it for a vital period of time. He also finally got a squad wipe. He sorely needed. Check out the centre as we've got the crocodile on the field claiming its 10th kill. A with his poor casting skills. Never actually picked up on this because we had the tiger race disaster in the centre as the six pounder goes down. And the crocodile. That guy's writhing. He's dancing. What is that? Is that the Macarena? Aye, it is. Well, don't you tell me about my 222. My 222 has been attacked by Piets. He don't want this. He couldn't stand this. So he drove away. <laughs> Did you get that joke? Please tell me you got that joke. Uh, mystery viewers of the future. I'm sure like 30% of people listened to the fact that it was mid-ranked 2v2 and did not ever get to listen to such hilarious casting. Shame on them, I say. Good AVR round in. As the pack 40 plinks away. Seven kills only. It's a double crocodile party. They turned their wasps into crocodiles like some strange Pokemon evolution. Oh, look at this. Pia action. This Osvin. Solio has not learned from their mistake from earlier in the game. And that's a very dead flak panzer. We have lost a panzer. That's a very poor Wookiee impression as well. <laughs> Uh, you got to have fun, guys. you got to. Life's too short to watch Asian versus Love Nest every game. There we go. We finally got the Firefly on its way. Meanwhile, Admiral has a Panther newly equipped and ready to get its Pintle Mount. Tommy's taking advantage of this uh, moon. It is a moon. Isn't it? Is that the moon? That's the American flag there from 1969. Or the, uh, if you're one of those uh, internet weirdos, this is indeed uh, the Nevada Desert. And I'm Stanley Q Kubrick. Aviary. Tag teams in with a hot tag. And gets a nice shot off on the Grenadier. Not quite a Panzerwerfer in scope. Or the four Panzerwerfer we've seen this game. I wonder who's doing better, the AVRE is the, or the Panzerwerfer is an investment. Shall we count it up? Let us do that as the uh, f Crocodile's finally making big holes in Admiral's defences, but the Panther is perfectly positioned. And as Admiral Akbar would say, to keep up the Star Wars references, it's a trap! Not a very good one though, it mostly attacked trees to be fair. Look at this combo. Tiger with little brother. A lot of um, American tank crew members mistook the Panzer IV for a Tiger. You can kind of see why. It's got a very boxy look, hasn't it? Shocking the crew yet again, but no follow-up from General. He needs to be hotter on that synergy as the boys are coming for you. And it's not boys' anti-tank rifles they're toting. It's these Piats. 
They've probably got those two, to be honest. Oh, my Lord. Breaking high jump records. And he's tanking the damage. He tried to think that he was not going to hit him in the face. It was going to be on retreat, but it was indeed in the face. So a double bluff went sorely wrong there for Midgeman, but he did get the kill, and both squads somehow survived. As the Tiger Ace gets its 19th kill. And what's this we're seeing? More mortar support. It would seem. We're up to 38 minutes now. This battle rages on. Let's check out the uh, KDs for a moment. Have a little look at what we're seeing. There's the tank hunters, by the way. They're by far the best unit for these guys. The Brits hardly, uh, hardly very, very uh, Field Marshal Haig approach to British infantry combat there, it would be said. The famous Field Marshal that ordered wave upon wave of 18-year-olds uh, to their death in the First World War. Show and Firefly, there you go. Causing problems for the 2-2-2. To say the least, well dodged by General with the Tommy Blob. Meanwhile in the south, Tommy's pushing in. Ah, oh, look at that damage caused by the... Uh, crocodile with its 16 kills. More Verf in action. On retreat this time and gets the squad wipe that you want to see. Firefly also eats some shells. Tiger gets the follow-up. As the, uh, the British concentrated fire op operation comes down. Meanwhile, the uh, British dank hunters come in position. Might kill some crew weapons, but they have lost a lot of squads now. Panzer Grenadiers won't be throwing any grenades on retreat. Oh, there's that pack down. Well and truly, more Panzer Ver for action. By Admiral. He's got veterans in two, one, or three of them now. Holy shit, there's a lot of kills. That accelerated quickly. Hey, you had a good still of that uh, shell on your screen for a second there. I saw it at least. AVRE is about to eat some Fausts, but beware because it's now ready with the petard. Grenz, what are you doing? Oh, Grenz! Admiral! You lost your concentration for a second and you no longer have a fleet of uh, Soldaten. The well and truly down and out in the Cromwell, the Churchill, the AVRE, who's uh, currently suffering under duress of very angry Tiger Tank. I tell you what, he's had great preservation so far this game, Admiral. He let himself down there, and Solio's doing the same. They could be throwing the game right. This this could be a hero an heroic victory for General and Midgeman. Just one fantastic AVRE shot. Now with 19 kills. Oh, and what's this, by the way? The Cromwell went in for the Panzerwerfers yet again. Did not find a single one of them. And it is suffering as the Panzer IV reverses after it. But the Tommies are ready. They are indeed. They hot tag for the Cromwell. Does the Panzer IV really want to suffer? Yes, it does. And will it actually emerge without? Oh, it's, not, it's not a. It's not a tank hunter, Tommy. It's a Vickers, Tommy. Thank God for that. I was very confused there for a second, because I'm slightly drunk, as you may have noticed. Double Panzerwerfers. Are they in different locations? Yes, they are. However, not a single uh, British soldier was hurt in the making of this video. Could actually be that Mitchman didn't realise either. <laughs> Who knows? More Verf in action. Didn't get make a mark this time either. Mitchman's got something in the build for it. It is indeed the comet of his hammer. What's General cooking up? General's not got much of an army, it must be noted right now. As the Panzer IV. Just some cleaning up in the centre. Surely about to push the Grenadiers into position to cap that central victory point. Very equal game on the victory points, it must be said. Uh, look at this army. 16, 30, 17. Oh my, that's a lot of kills. Have they paid for themselves, importantly? 
Oh my god, AVRE with the shot over the four there. Wiping out Sodolio's forces. Solio, oh my lord, and again. Perhaps gasping in horror at what they just saw as the bodies hit the floor. Yet another squad wipe more. Solio took by surprise and obliterated there by this heroic Vetracy 3 AVRE. Tiger's going to go in now. Wants to take it out as double Panzer Grenadier is coming on the build. Panther trying to help out, but the Comet's going to protect the reversal path. Let's check out the graphs of uh, Solio. Oh my god. I want to see Army. Look at that dive. Nice from the Churchill Crocodile coming from the sides as the Tiger is temporarily distracted as the grenades come in, allowing the Tommies to retreat. And of course, the Churchill have such heavy armor and health pools, they're able to tank the damage. Panzerwerfers have gotten really far up into enemy action here. Possibly for a, a Werf on the base sector. Is that what we're going to see? Oh, it is not, unfortunately. Just more moonscaping. Sherman Firefly abandoned there as the Tiger gets a, a very hefty kill. General could have operated a little bit more at range and couldn't quite do it. Like an archer with a dagger. Should have just stayed on the... The cliff tops there and not come down into the valleys. God, this is uh this has gotten very killy. Very quickly. Almost couldn't keep up with the action at uh, things started dying so soon. Here they come. That's a very stricken tiger race with its Oh and the the Tommies get through, but the Panzerwerf has saved the day. Mitchman loses all of his anti-tank infantry sections, but one. I told you it was getting killy very quickly. As their endurance starts to grind to a an empty, I want to say to a halt, but that's their micro. Their endurance has reached empty. The micro has ground to a halt. And everything is starting to die. What they've got to ask themselves now is how badly do they want this victory? They've put 45 minutes of their lives into this battle. Are they prepared to accept defeat? And, uh, oh my lord! There's the AVRE obliterating yet another squad. Now 33 kills and counting. And look how quickly it reloads. Osvind. Devastating these Tommy squads. But there's a lot of uh, green cover now, so that's why they're going to need the Verfa to help out. Medium cover, rather. They're on retreat. And they're okay. Meanwhile, Comet pushes in, but a pack was waiting. Going to try and take out the Osvind, but a Panzer falls there as well. Can he take out some of these Panzerwerfers? The Comet's tanking it. We're also seeing a coordinated fire operation down. One Panzerwerfer bites it, does another. Is it going to be worth it? Comet looks like it might survive. AVRE also pushes in. What targets are he going to take? Strangely goes for nothing at all. Coordinated fire. Hits nothing also. And the Comet's got out of there scot-free. That was a fantastic rage. A raid. By Midgeman. And it will indeed be Admiral that's raging. Solio's got barely anything. Does have a very big tank though. So that's something at least. Flat Panzer taken down. by the uh, Cromwell there in the center it's actually been surprisingly difficult to keep track of as the AVRE obliterates yet another capping squad when will they learn their lesson as the uh, British <laughs> announcer would sometimes say he's literally the stop capper unit isn't he if you're capping he'll stop you capping it's the AVRE how does he stop you capping? Well, he disassembles your body and throws it in various directions. <laughs> Tommy Squad pinned. More tank hunter infantry sections are built as the comet pushes through the smoke. Tiger reverses way as the Pack 40 watches on. 
attacking through the smoke. Can't quite find a target. Here comes the Panzerwerfer. Consolidated targets. Nout, but uh, friendly fire damage there, unfortunately, for them. And the Churchill Aviary is, of course, ready yet again. Looking for a target. Meanwhile, the Admiral's Tiger. That's right, we're having a Tiger party in the center. 48 minutes into this battle, we've got 200 victory points for both players remaining. Both sets of players, rather, as the AVRE is stricken and attacked by the Panther also. We've got a big push here from Admiral and Solio. They're going in deep. And they take out that bastard AVRE that had obliterated so many of their squads. And now they turn their attention on that other thorn in their side. It is indeed the Churchill Crocodile. The Panzer IV pushes in, as does the Panther. Turns attention on the M3 for a moment. Meanwhile, by the way, the Cromwell's getting attacked by the pack from afar. Needs to be careful there. This could be the GG push that one of the teams has needed for a very long time to bring this game to an end. They've shown the commitment to their cause and they've put it all on the line. And it must be said that they've, uh, they've reaped the dividend. West side. Tiger with its 29 kills watches on and misses the Tommies on the move. MG42 is waiting. Keeping two victory points are the Axis players. AVR recalled yet again. Oh no, sorry. That's because of the uh, recharge. I'm still getting used to the new patch. <laughs> you see how long I've been casting based on the, uh, the unit icons, let's say. Veterans Day 2 for the Panther. Watching on as... Uh, we now have a bait, an MG bunker. 2-2-2 two, two, two with that really good reconnaissance. is sacrificing himself. Not too sure about that. It must be, it must be said. I think Admiral wanted the pop cap. But uh, that's a very good unit to have. If you think about uh, how much reconnaissance it was giving the Tigers. Let's see where he builds after though. Solio certainly doesn't need to, to free up pop cap with their uh, 68 at the moment, but they've battled strong and hard in general. Their opponent on the west has basically been fully lethal on the west. The east side, by the way, seems to have been like the uh, gentleman's warfare. The west side has been Rattenkrieg, literally down to the blood and guts of every individual soldier, and that's why the pop caps are so low for the western combatants. Panzerwerf on retreat there. Oh, the, la the trailing rockets, so do indeed get the squad wipes. That was half and half retreating on the nose, and uh, the nose had it. Meanwhile, LMG Grenadiers are forced out of there. Had a lot of health on that model. Could have stayed in the battle for longer. We do have low health on the Comet. Panthers looking for business. Forced away by the threat of what lurks behind the trees. Churchill Crocodile survived all that fighting earlier. Remember when he targeted the M3? Meanwhile, Stormtroopers. Capping the center. No pesky AVRE to stop them quite yet. Must be noted, by the way, General has 1,800 manpower at this point. Could really do with uh, using it, let's say. Central AVRE ready for work. And here is that AVRE. I thought they'd build it because it was so good for them. It will help them control the center. Another Panzerwerfer on its way for Admiral. Solio's getting a Panther. Midgeman is being a midge. Man. Really been... Uh, these medics have... What are they doing exactly? They're just standing there, aren't they? With their pistols out. Very good. Apparently dogs are trying to kill these stormtroopers. That's very insulting, isn't it? As we have the Brum there on the field. The Stern Panzer fear. Watches on as the uh, Tiger races in a spot of bother. Assault officer is being assaulted as he caps the central victory point. Tiger races and all kinds of problems here. The AVRE's got a big shot in. The Cromwell's looking to finish the job. Needs to get around the rear armor, however. The Comet doesn't know. That does have the penetration. Can it get the kill? Panzerwerfer gets another squad wipe. Yet another. We've got smoke down as well. Comet smashes through the smoke like a Comet indeed. Attacks the Panther. Needs to target the Tiger. Can it get it? Main gun destroyed. Critical. That is very unfortunate indeed. 
Very unfortunate as the Tiger escapes yet again. Tommy's escape as well. As the Panzer IV watch on. As the Panther and the Tiger push in. Coordinated fire down on nothing in particular. That squad could be very soon be dead. This uh, Tiger's looking for action. It must... And this lucky bastard's all the way back in base now. Oh! That was a good shot. That was a very good shot by the Brumbear. Five kills. Nice. And here we go. What's the Churchill Crocodile doing? Going into base. That savage mad bastard. The mad dog. Pack 40's in a good position to exploit this reverse path. As the Panther watches on. And the Tiger joins the fray. The Churchill Crocodile is having a very, very bad day indeed. Taken out of commission. Meanwhile, in the west, Panther and Brumbear trying to consolidate that western victory point. There you go. There's a Brumbear for you. Sixth kill now and counting. It's the Tommies. Fine position. Sheltered within the crater. Firing against the tank hunters. Grenade tossed. Well dodged by Admiral. Excellent preservation of Micro into the very super late stages of this battle. And we have a brief respite and lull in activity as A tries to navigate his left A from behind his mic stand. Mm, that's some good Belgian beer. Cromwell forces away the Brumbear as the Tiger and Panther protect his very hefty flank. He is a fat boy, isn't he? Main gun destroyed. Look at that limp dick now. As the Panther pushes on and forces away the Cromwell. Meanwhile, in the centre, we've got a very important battle for the victory points. Panzerwerfers are operating in the west and obliterating yet another Tommy squad. And Admiral pushes through the Baron Moonscape and on to his opponents. We have Midgeman building a Comet. This new aviary has not been as good as the old one. I think that the Wehrmacht have a, uh, a significant force now. If the victory points are led to believe, this could go on for some time unless the Axis can capture that eastern victory point. There's not much stopping them, it must be said. They could finish this game off right now. Tiger and Panther push in. Aviori backs away. Cromwell with the Comet covering for it. Damaged engine on the Panzerkampfwagen Sex as the Funf retreats gleefully away with its superior speed and capability. And the Cromwell's now looking to get some cheeky shots off on the Tiger. Needs to get to the rear armor. Gets a main gun destroyed critical. But the Tiger Ace is finally. Operational once more. Cromwell looking for the rear armor shot and gets it. Or was that indeed the comet? Could have been. Indeed it was. With a vehicle destroy. And the Brits are capturing the central victory point. Stormtroopers have a word or two to say about that. As we see this unholy trinity of Krupp style push in. And the Stormtroopers were actually able to force away the Tommy squad. And they're setting up camp here. Gonna toast marshmallows on the corpses of these uh, burning British soldiers. The Brits are currently uh, licking their wounds and plotting their next dastardly scheme. Oh my god, it can't be that. They are getting absolutely obliterated. Right, now the AVRE is in the bad part of town. And there's some heavy cats and supporting cast members. They're going to turn this into a very vicious play about uh, dead British armour. Piet's trying in peril as the Panzerwerfers try and stop them. Meanwhile, in the centre, very important victory point battles 
emerging as, as we see another strafing run. Tiger Ace penetrated by the Piets, but the strafing run pins as the Firefly is now on the field. Back to them at control is the centre as we enter our 58th minute of play. Rear armour hit by the Firefly as we now have the uh, tank commander on board giving the extra lines of sight with the Tommies of course. Brumbear comes in to sort these bloody British soldiers out. Firefly gets a good shot in on the Panther, wants to finish the job, is going to go for it as well. Vet 3 Panzer 4 is nowhere to be seen but there's something to be seen. That Brumbear with a squad wipe. Nice shot on retreat there also. Verfer. On nothing in particular. Trying to predict the advance of the anti-tank Tommies. Brumbear idles away. Oh! Bounces that shot very nicely indeed. Has more fatalities on the field. Let's have a look at the stats. We haven't seen them for a while. Look at that. Hell of a lot of uh, death and destruction as so Solio and Admiral have got a hell of a lot of damage done. Well, the Brits are hardy folk and they've been able to stay in this battle come rain or shine. And here comes a very important victory point cap. This could be the beginning of something very special. And yes, the west of the map does indeed exist. Just clarifying that uh, I know we've only seen the battle be here and never outside of that square. But this does indeed exist. Just letting you know. Just in case you'd forgotten. I don't know, you might have forgotten. We are about to uh, get to our one hour mark, at which point we will clink beers in acknowledgement of our uh, glorious warriors that have fought for us today. Three, two, one. <coughs> Cheers, guys. AVRE, Comet, Firefly. <laughs> Somehow my Streamlabs has gotten through and I've had a follow whilst I've been doing this. Firefly. These are all names that may go on uh, a list of victorious heroes of a famous battle. Otherwise it could get a sense of information of a cat catastrophic British disaster. <laughs> As they sacrifice... Wave upon wave of British infantry for the cause. I'm electing for censorship at this rate because the Axis look like an unconquerable foe right now. Have they got a uh, nobody goes east agreement? Trick to victory point map situation as the tanks are absolutely hopping over the craters, defying all laws of gravity. Sony doesn't like you, AVRE. It's uh, all of these tanks. They fucking hate you. They hate your guts and they wish you did not exist. And they're going to see to that very shortly. One more big shot from that Tiger should do the job. No, nope, we had a bounce and a bit of splash damage. Was not a penetrative shot. That was. And we've got an abandon. Will he actually go for it? Because to be honest, they've got to realise the writing on the wall here. They need to do something big. Hands of Verfers verfing away as 100 points remain as double digit figures enter the situation for Midgeman and his ally, Le General. Nine point seven five inches. That's what it says on my Tinder bio. But indeed, it is referring to uh, mortar support in this case. Panzer IV, very barely alive. If at all. It's on life support. Look at the Verf in action. Just look at what's happened to this bloody battlefield. It's fine over here, though. Barely touched. But look at this. Horrendous. Looks like Stoke on Trent over here. Oh, 
Comet needs to get active very shortly. This needs to back up these Tommies. This needs to be an heroic push as the uh, Panzerwerfer predicts beautifully the Tommies positioning there. And the Heavy Cats are controlling the West. Leaving it... Uh... Look at this Firefly. Already got into Veteran C3. Very nice indeed. That'll cause some issues. That could be the Brit's way back into this game, quite frankly. Panther also Veteran C3. Getting some big shots in. Ah, nice flame damage there. Down go the Grenadiers. 75 points remain for the Brits. Can they make it back into this battle? What you could you do with a thousand Tigers? Well, you only need one in this case because this one's a big one. 42 kills. Verf's coming in on the centre. Tommy's going to hold strong. Trying to get that cap. They're 50% of the way there. They make it full rock around the clock. All the way to double victory point control town. And finally, they stop the bleed at 73 remaining. They could actually go for a triple cap here. What's the Vermat thinking? Nice shots from the Firefly, however. Vet 3 Panther in peril. Needs to get the F out of there as the Comet pushes in. Bounces a rare shot, however, from the Firefly. They're repairing at the moment. They need not to. This could go badly wrong if the triple cap got locked in. Do the Brits need? No, they can't even get machine guns, can they? Oh, Comet! You're taken out by the Tiger at the worst possible moment. Double Fireflies. Are in position as we watch those Schwer Gustav wannabes. This could be the death of the Tiger Race, I tell you. Fireflies and a damaged engine also. They need to get away. The Tiger spread its damage so far. The other Tiger watches on. Fireflies are at good range now, though. They've got sight lines as well. And out of control goes the heroic Tiger Ace. It's pop smoke in the heat of battle, but they finish the job accordingly. Fantastic from General. Meanwhile, Panzer IV, Veteran C3. Oh, big takeouts there from the double Mammoth Tank-esque for a moment, um, Firefly. Tell you what, the Brits are coming back. I did not expect that. I did not expect that at all. We see yet another Verve and Sturmpanzer on retreat. They don't need that right now, but what they do need is to consolidate their advantage. More to support down on the west side. Is that announcing the arrival? Indeed it is of the Royal Engineers. Just trying to clear it for them. Trying absolutely everything they can right now to keep their advantage as the Axis players are about to enter double-digit territory into that uber late-game frenzy that can sometimes happen. Vet 3 Panzerwerfer for 45 kills. His teammate... On 52. Opal Blitz Blitz in a way. Noob Tiger on four kills. Elite. Uber Tiger's dead now, of course. Tell you what, this uh, Brumba has to be careful. Has to be very careful indeed. Firefly has his number. But the Panther's body blocking him. Avior is in position. That was temporarily a triple cap, by the way, meaning that the Axis have dropped in victory points. The dam the danger was not spotted quickly enough by Admiral and Solio. And um, they're about to come very close to uh, the same victory point count for a first time in a long time. Oh, there's a good squad wipe from Admiral. Ah, nice. They've remembered that the east side of the map exists. That was Admiral's ace up his sleeve. He had it as a secret strategy, ready 
For if he ever needed it to cap the east side. Warmed up and ready to go. And he's ready to warm you up if you don't if you want it. Assault officers there. Let's check out these Panzerwerfers. He's got one ready to for action. It's indeed a Vet 3 Panzerwerf. And I'm sure he's gonna just click it. He's got a control group probably. And there he is. Let's watch the rockets come out. Let's watch them go into the sky. And here they come. That Tommy's dead. Nope. Somehow survived, but it is pinned. Meanwhile, on the east, or in the east, um, Panthers got better C3. That's very nice. This western victory point's been capped. We've seen a little bit of flip reversal. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Cha-cha real smooth. All the way back to base. And here we go. we got Charlie Brown himself on the field. It is indeed the Tiger Ace again. Redux. But those veteran Fireflies watch on. And we've got the AVRE with a stun round as wreckage flies high in the sky. The Brits are in a commanding position now in terms of anti-tank. They've got their Tommies in the middle as well as the Churchill Crocodile pushes in. New Tiger Ace is in all kinds of problems. And they push on regardless of that... In air quotes, superior Axis armor. However, here comes the great equalizer, the Panzerwerfer. Only on the Churchill. That's the best target for it. Double digits. Figures for both players, of course. 66 versus 75. You hear the Brit announcer getting all kinds of excited. Pops. He smokes. Uh, he pops smoke, rather. As look at this. He might take out the Opal Blitz, that bastard. That would have been cheeky. However, it's all serious games right now. Nobody's doing anything cheeky. Nobody's being silly. They want a, they want a comprehensive and resounding nail-biting one versus one victory point victory. And that's what they could be headed towards, either of these players, as we see an equalization at the one hour, ten minute mark. An equalization right now, 66 to 66. The number of the beast almost. Tommy's suffering problems. Meanwhile, he gets the MG42 LMG. Grenade on the Stormtroopers from the Tommies. Brits holding strong in the center. We need to see what force the Axes have to possibly, possibly push them away. It's not that much. Let's check out the other title cards. We've not done that for a while. What's Mitchman building? It's like another comet, it seems. Burfing away on this advancing Tommy squad, but they do get through the rockets. Meanwhile, Firefly causing pioneers all kinds of problems. Can they cap as heroes of the Reich? Yes, they can. Knights cross with oak leaves and a picture of Hitler's head on them. A bit of a cold coming on, or is it hay fever? I really do hope it is hay fever. Look at these badass fireflies. These have gotten the Brits back in the game. It's almost as though General should have concentrated on fireflies much earlier, or at least kept them alive. Oh, look at this cheeky motherfucker. James Bond, Comet. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, here you go. One Panzerwerfer. Ha, 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 ha. Two Panzerwerfer! Ha 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 ha! And possibly an Opal Blitz to finish the job. No, indeed, he goes for the Tiger Race. Meanwhile, the Wehrmachts have captured the central capping circle. This could have been a GG push had General acted in unison with Midgeman. But he did not. You could have won the game there and then, General, in my opinion, my humble opinion. But we do have a glorious cap from Midgeman in the east. And a heroic. Capture in the West. 57 victory points versus 54. Oh, big shots in on the AVRE from the Panther. As a new Panther. 
Pushes in from the south. AVRE stuns the tank. It is its last action on the field as the Firefly pushes in. We've got less than 50 foot victory points remaining for Vermat as AE enters his horse racing commentator mode. Panther looking for a death touch, but the stricken Firefly is in the rear guard right now as Verfa's coming at. Vofa's is being built. That's a scary choice there. Very, very tricky to get a both has built it this time in the map. We do have an eastern victory point capture though, which is going to push the Vermat down, down and possibly out. Will the both has get completed as coordinated fire comes down? The Tiger looking for a western path. Firefly destroyed the host, main gun destroyed on the crocodile. As the Panther pushes in and uncovers the Bofors, we have a temporary triple cap. That means it's going to be game over unless the Wehrmacht can make an heroic capping action. They need to get in there. They need to get in there right fucking now. It needs to happen. Opal blitz into the, the capping circle. Do something. 11 victory points remain. They're trying to capture in vain. Is it going to happen or is it indeed the end of the game? Out of control goes Veteran C3. Firefly pirouetting. Stormtroopers battling hard. We do have a captured victory point, which is going to stem the tide of the bleed. But this could indeed be game over. It's been a good battle for Admiral and Solio. But with that dead panzer, it looks like it is the end of the game. Good game, says Solio. So does Admiral, so does General. What a game that was. Well played, everybody. I can actually reveal that the uh, uploader of this game was Admiral. So it's incredibly admirable that he uploaded um, a game in which he lost. So big kudos to you, dear sir. Thank you for the beer and the curries. I enjoyed casting your game. I um, if it wasn't an elitist pig that didn't have enough time, I would have, in an alternate reality, I would have cast it for free somewhere. But, uh, you know, thank you very much for your support. Thank you very, very much for enjoying this cast. And if, if you are on YouTube and you made it to one hour and uh, 15 minutes of uh, mid-rank 2 versus 2, I bloody hope you enjoyed your time. And I hope you're doing well, because you're a, you're a good chap or ladette, whoever you are. And... Uh, yeah, have a cracking week and a good weekend. Thank you very, very, very much. And goodbye.